Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cool, and this is Gems of War. And today I have two teams for you for the world event, the Price of Knowledge. A high level team and a low level team. So the restriction here was kind of tight. We had a divine, divine like strikers or something like that. It was, it was like t two different things. Divine elves, I think was that. It was divine elves. So it had to be divine and an elf. And I think like red. So like three different restrictions. So it narrowed it down for us to like 20 troops or less. And um, yeah, so the mana generation here is kind of left to be desired. Um, but they are one hitter quitters. We got uh, we got the um, Fist of Heaven, um, Ishtara, Keelan, and the Spider Throne. Is that what it's called? The the new troop there, the Empowered Converter, the Spider Throne. So yeah, I was looking for, like, the first thing I was thinking was, like, you know, first of all, whenever we have a spell damage medal, I'm thinking, like, I need something that's going to hit all enemies. That's usually my first thought. You don't have to do it like that. I feel like it's the best way just because early on it's going to clear in one shot so many times that it catches up in the end when it has to cast multiple times. So better than something like Ubastead or Yao Gui or something like that where early on it, it has to cast twice no matter what. And later on, you know, it catches up later on too, but just my theory, I like it the other way around where I hit all enemies and clear the early battles out quicker because, you know, you're going to be doing the early battles no matter what. You're not always going to be doing the later battles, right? So I just go with the hit all enemy teams. But the Ishtara was the first thing I was like, okay, um, it hits all enemies. Let's try that. And I was thinking, okay, Spider Throne is the only empowered converter we have, the only empowered troop really at all. Um, as far as mana generation, there's really nothing else. And if there is, it, there's huge mana conflict. So, Empowered Converter that turns, um, brown to purple. So, and I was like, okay, now I need a purple troop. Well, Ishtara is like the only purple troop that hits all enemies. So, that's how I made my team. And then I filled it in from there. And then the weapons, there wasn't very many options either. So, Fist of Heaven was the only thing that was an explodey weapon. And it, uh was for divine allies so three of our troops are divine allies the 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 class y'all could do i don't know i wasn't like super locked in with my class here i don't even remember what i used um but do whatever you'd like i think bard or something's what i use just it's a decent yellow class that uh has a 50 percent start but uh you could use what try whatever you want to do you could do priests so you have all divines but the idea basically is, you know, cast the Spider Throne if you have alignment. If you don't, you don't really want to be doing it unless you know you're going to hit in one shot and win. Because it's got those web gems that kind of are annoying. But uh, it turns brown to purple, gets up your Divine Ish uh, Ishtara, then you cast it and win. And if it doesn't, you cast Fist of Heaven, get up your Divine, or your Ishtara. I keep wanting to call it Divine Ishbala for some reason. Um, just cast your Ishtara and win. And then the uh, Keelan's there, it can bless. Um, it turns... Um, purple to red so there's going to be purple from the spider throne that you could turn back to red um it's basically there for that to bless and then turn purple back to red to get the uh ishtara back up again later on all right here is the low level team another troop that hits all enemies is uh, uh ping long ping long hits all enemies so we have the fist of heaven once again that is an explodey weapon for divine troops uh, it blows up like yellow and gives a positive status effect to, to divine allies and then um, summons a divine troop. Uh, I would think l later on you might want to put the Fist of Heaven down one at least. In case you're losing your tank, then you can summon something back in. But early on you want to put it in first slot. So Fist of Heaven, you're just getting that up as soon as possible and then casting it, which should get up your ping longs, and then you cast your ping longs. Not really super complicated. Pinglong does boost off enchanted allies, which our whole team is enchanted, but the boost isn't too big. It's like eight or something like that. But hey, might be a lot with that spell damage metal. Um, some other options out there. So for high level players, I think you could build a team around Dawnbringer. Dawnbringer is available in the weapon list there, the restriction. Um, you could go Guards Avatar. I think that's another smart way to go, maybe with Golden Cog. That would be something I would do later on, though, because he's not going to be as easy to get up as, like, Ishtara or Ping Long or something like that. So whatever you do, whether it's Guard's Avatar, Dawnbringer, um, even if you want to do the Ubastead or the Yao Gui thing, um, 
I think the Ubestet thing is kind of just like a quirky <laughs> type of deal. But um, later on, I think it would be, be awesome. But I think you should use one of these teams first and then switch to the Ubestet. So if you're like bound and determined to use an Ubestet team today or this week, try one of these first and you'll thank me later. And then you can switch to your Ubestet when things get harder. And then you can like do the instant kill thing um, and still cast twice no matter what. Um, but yeah, I think uh, Dawnbringer is a good idea. Guards, Avatar is a good idea. Um, Pinglong, uh, Ishtara. Those are the things that I think are the best ideas. And then a little bit down would be Yao Gui team, um, Ubestet team. Maybe even like a High Paladin with a uh, Valkyrie type of deal for low level players. Something like that is what I would recommend. So if you're following my advice, do Ishtara or Ping Long, followed closely by Dawnbringer or Guards Avatar. And if you're not and you want to do the Funky team, do Ubestet or something like that. Yao Gui, up there too. Like, share, subscribe, so you're joining. Helps a lot. Tell your good about the channel. Comment below. Peace.